down there. Huh. Nice. Oh. Woo. I thought you said there was like ghost towns and old abandoned trails and shit like that up here. No, I thought that was Bachelor Loop. Oh, this is a Bachelor Loop. Huh? I thought this was the Bachelor Loop. No, this is the Wheeler Trail. Where's Bachelor Loop? Creed. Where is it? North, north of Creed. It's right off Creed, the city. Oh. Yeah. A trail to get to the Wheeler area. I don't know. I mean, I've never been up here, so I don't know anything about it here. You know, I know that Apple Creek. I thought it went down. I, you know, I, like I said, I haven't been up here. <laughs> Well, I must say, welcome to Colorado. It's never ending here and this day we decided to investigate more trails around Creed, Del Norte and Saddle Mountain. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. And without a doubt, it sure was gorgeous this day. But of course, windy and cold. But what's new in Colorado, right? Oh man, the mountains call my number. It's crazy, all this snowfall I just... <laughs> isn't it pretty crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you this thing is fun in the winter time. The snow bikes and everything. Right? That's what I think too. <laughs> so on this day, we decided to venture out to Creed, Colorado, which is not too far from Del Norte. There is an area called Wheeler Geological Site, and this place truly is amazing. It technically dead ends because at the end of the trail turns into wilderness area and absolutely no motor traffic is allowed, not even mountain bikes. But the hike is definitely worth it because at the end you get to see a remarkable piece of history. This was formed millions of years ago during the times of volcano eruptions and over the years this is what is left. Oh, yes, yeah, son. Well, I must say, without a doubt, this is KLX 250 yeah. territory here. It's a great day to be chill, relax, explore, and just really enjoy the scenery and surroundings Colorado has to offer, especially this area. And the KLX 250? I must say it definitely helped with that during this four day adventure trip. I must say as soon as the snow melts I need to go back out, out here and get exploring because you can really spend a full year out on these trails and probably not even touch everything. In the future I plan on tackling a lot of different areas like Centennial Peak, more the Creed single track because that was downright the best single track I have ever tried in Colorado so far. And we have some gorgeous single track out here. And of course, the infamous Green Ridge Mountain. I heard this place is really gorgeous and just filled with forest roads. Look at that mountain, it's freaking beautiful. It almost looks like Tinker Pass. I think it's cool when it's snow. Oh, look, you saw that a white diamond? <laughs> Not sure what the white diamond means, but. Hopefully this guy can do it. Oh yeah, I can do it a second year. 